So the Baba Zoo developer made a solitaire game. Honestly, I don't even know where to start. There's like t over 20 cursed variants in here. The first one is apparently Tap Solitaire, even though it's Baba Art. And then Baba is Solitaire, which I guess this is the most thematic, right? This is the intention of trying to create Solitaire with Baba's you rule-changing gameplay. I don't know, there's like a ton of them to select from. We'll just start with the first one, Tap Solitaire. So, here's the rules. So, standard Solitaire. There's a rule about stack of picking up a stack of multiple cards if they're of the same suit. Uh, when you're holding a single card, you can turn a card sideways. And you can only have three sideways cards at max. And I don't know what auto stack is, but so you can turn a sideways card back to normal. But you need to pick it up and place it in a valid spot for that card. Okay. Also, this track is a freaking Baba remix. <laughs> okay, anyway. So we got these four piles, and all of them need to be filled eventually. So... Seven, where, where do these go? I guess on one of these edge piles, yeah. So now this is the first one. This is B for the first one, Baba. I see we have an, unveiled some nice Queen GG art. All right, so we got 12. Oh, I don't know if it was a good idea to place it there, actually. But I can put it sideways by right-clicking. And that basically creates a new pile where that is, I think. Let's get the king in there. The king... Well, no, that's just K for Keke. We should put this sideways for now. We want to drop the 13 on the edge, I think. This is, this is sideways again. So we get unsideways stuff. Now, I can pick up both the 4 and the 3 because they're the same color, aka the same suit. Hmm. Got a 2. Okay, I don't like the, this 3-2 this interaction. An 8 here. We want the 8 to stack on a 7. So, like, a sideways card is effective, like, starting a new pile. Let's put that there. Get this 7 out of the way. And grab this 10. The whole point is that we can get this 11, 10. And dig further deeper into this pile. Now we need a 9. Unfortunately, a bunch of the 9s are uh, far in like far in there. Okay, we can stack this 8 and the 7. They're even the same color, so it works out. Hmm. We got this 2. We should probably stack this 2 on top. We get 8, 7. And there's a 6 below. There's the 9-8. I would like to just get the 9, though. I see the Fofo down here. We should probably start a new sideways stack. So we can put that 7 there. I'm a bit worried about moving this 8 off, but... Unlocking this Fofo is probably worth it. So there we go. Okay, we want to stack the same color because of the same suit interaction. We can bring the 7 here. And now we can get uh, Keke's 2. Okay, we have an 11 here. Maybe we should go for it. 11. So we got 8, 7 here, but no 9 still. <laughs> this is a bit annoying, but I think we should have dug for that 9 long ago. We can do like this 8, get this 7 here. And now, move this. Wait, where do we move it actually? Hmm. We already have two sideways cards, so the next sideways card is my is the cap. Oh, I would like to free that 7, so let's go here. Stack this. Uh, I don't like that the... Maybe we should do instead to put the 7-6, which is sharing a thing. No, this is also ugly looking. Ugh. Oh well, let's put that there and get this 9-8-7. So we can get this 3 and... Uh... Wait, no, no, oh no, we don't have the 3 for the Fofo. Um, hmm. hold on, we can fix this maybe. We put this 2 here. This 3, actually, we can we rescued it because this is the 3 for the... Keke pile. So this goes ace to three. Now we can put that on the Fofo pile. Very nice. Fofo goes. All right, we're making some progress here. Um, all right, now what pile do we clear? This pile, we still don't actually have the GG's, uh, the GG's base piles actually here, but we can clear up the Baba tile entirely. Nice. So that's just completely free now. We can even go in reverse. Look at this. Uh, put that there. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So that frees up so much. So we got a 13. Unfortunately, we would have preferred this 13 actually goes, like, to the top of there, but oh well. So let's put this stuff here so that we can get this 5, 4, 3, 2. So we got this 13. Maybe we stack it here, but there is an 8, 7, 6 below, so maybe not great. But this gives access to, uh, like, it gives us the 5, 6, the GG's 6, the Baba's 2, and the Keke, so that clears up under pile. Looks good to me. Uh, 13, 12. Oh, oh shoot. Um, 13, 12, 11, 10. Stack this 5. Oh, wow, we got, t we got a big GG pile over here. 
Hmm. But hold on, we want to do this so we can get the GG's, uh, the, the, the five here and the GG start. Oh, we, come on, we can't put this on top to... Whatever. Okay, so we got nine, twelve. Actually, no, this, okay, we've put all this stuff here because I noticed that we can put this eight. Now get this nine somewhere else, but the, the whole point is that an eleven has just been opened. Seven... Oh, uh, hopefully we don't have another stack card. Oh, yes we do. Okay, perfect. So now we just undid one of the sideways cards, which is great. Obviously allows me to play more sideways. This 13 somewhere. So we kind of this... Not... This 9 is annoying. We want it to be empty, right? Uh, anyway, we have the Baba here, so... Might as well. Okay, I, I pressed S, by the way. That's an auto stack button. So that allows... That's basically everything that would have done just by clicking and moving those into piles, but did automatically, so very, very nice. And now 10, 11, uh, 11, 12. Just gonna do this manually just to show it, I guess, which I should have done before, but yeah. 13, 13, 13. So there you go. Victory. Now the next one is Baba's Solitaire. So these actually have rules, but only one pile. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, wait. If I do Baba is Fofo... The th nice rule effect. Oh, I don't think it had a sound effect in the... Uh, it, yeah, okay, so that's cool. And can I move this stuff as a... Okay, so I can move these. The rules are kind of a... Ugh, it's just... I don't want to read it all. I just want to experiment. It's weird that the Baba Dev, by the way, has been putting in, like, those big rule pages. Like, various stuff about how mechanics work when Baba itself didn't have that. Okay, but what do I do? I can put that in the... Okay, so now we got the GG... You can put the GG there, good. The 4 will be stuck, and it sucks, because the 4 is basically a duplicate here. 10, 9, I guess. I can maybe move it to be... Fofu is GG? This is so weird. This is not- this is a counterfeit, too. I mean, I guess we'll keep it there for now. These freaking duplicate 10s and 6s make me never want to play a solitaire variant. Like, that, that just feels like an issue that's gonna be all over the place. Can I even make progress? I can't dig down into these rules. Alright, let's just freaking reset. Interesting they have streak though, because the streak really implies that you could like that it implies a lot more winnability if the win streaking is the thing that people want to do and that's reasonable to do. Okay, let's move this GG off the slot to put the J in there as the first in the GG. Oh, we got a 10. The 10 is the highest number here. Hmm. We have this Fofo. I can't, I can't stack this any suit thing, can I? Hmm. I can also move this here and stack the, the 7 and 6 for Fofo. Wait, I can- wait, what the? What's the rule with this thing? Oh my god, I actually pressed reset when I was trying to freaking press help. So because it says pile number cards 1 to 10 every still in the top slots, but the, the, the character slots are on the right. I feel like this spaghetti monster was involved in some of this. Anyway, let's start the Fofo chain. I, and we have an is here, so we can do Baba is Keke, but we could also do is opposite. Which also seems really good. Is opposite. So that's a way to change numbers. We can even change 10 into the king. 10 is the opposite. I mean, not king, but keke. But what the hell? It's a counterfeit freaking thing. I don't know what to think about all these freaking counterfeits. Okay, I can do Fofo is any suit. Like, I can change... I can get rid of opposite to stack a 2. Even though that's not really a 2. Um, but I guess we can do GG is on same. That allows you to just, like, cards that are GG's to stack on each other. But first we'll get this real Fofo. So what hap- like, what is this interaction? If I put this real 3 and 4, will I have to undo it later on? So here's now- now here's the real Keke start of this pile. So I can do Keke is opposite now. Hmm. Well, I feel like I didn't want those to be 10s, but... Can we modify this so that, like, GG is any suit and I stack the 2 on the 3? That doesn't work. Uh, how about GG is Fofo? Stack the counterfeit three on there. Just, is this just a rules pile? Like, can I put anything on there? I can't put the is on there. I mean, these tens are a pain, but I don't know what to do with them. We can do that. Four, five. Wait, wait, I can't, I can't grab it off? What the? Okay, that's weird. I can't take it off to put the real one in its place. <laughs> Okay, so now we are in the stupid position where I will, like, I don't know what to do even. You can't, I can't do this, but I clearly need to get all this off the pile now because I can't have Baba's Keke forever. Hmm. 
Fofo is any suit on same. Doesn't matter because there's no GG's left. I guess Keke is on same. Oh, wait. Oh, for, that's the real Keke pile. Damn it. Anyway, Keke is on same. So this allows me to clear that out. And Fofo is any suit, so I'm allowed to put that there. 10. I'm genuinely curious if I would soft lock myself or something. So I. Look, I will just I just want this K here. Use opposite doesn't matter. Because we wanted to break Baba's Keke. How? How about Fofo is on same? Now I can put this 5 here, and now I should be able to break Baba's Keke. Okay. But this is so odd. And what, now I'm putting the counterfeit 2 in there? I think I want Fofo is Keke to put a counterfeit 5. Um, now we have this 8, which is a real 8. G is opposite. But I want this 9. There's an 8, 7 here. So I can do like GG's any suit or something. Maybe. Mm -hmm. We have this 8, 7 thing, but I want Baba to count as any suit or something. So Okay, so now that it counts as any suit, I can move this 8, 7 around because they count as the same suit. Okay. And I can put this back on here for a 10, 9, 8, 7. Let's put in that counterfeit Baba. Uh, GG, can we put GG on same? Okay, good. Classic counterfeit Baba. Anyway, can we do... Oh, this is just a regular 9. So... I want to do a rearrangement of something, because... Notice that the, the Fofo is like... I don't know why, but we're, we're not allowed to put this is here. Because probably it's because it ends in a property. Opposite brings a 3 to the forefront. Five. Okay, I, it doesn't seem like I can really interact with this stuff. I'm really doing Baba's Keke again. This just opens this pile. Three. You know that's not good. There's a plus five marker right here. I can put that J here, and if I, I can do GG's on same to get all the GG's ducks in a row. Roughly like, cause cause it can be put. Why can't I put that on the same? Oh, come on. If Fofo is any suit. I can't put that there, but I can do GG as Fofo, hopefully. Nope. Hmm. God. Okay, GG is Fofo, and we had a counterfeit 10. Very nice. Uh, now we can rearrange for... Why can't I only put one card on there? How annoying. Uh, oh, God. Oh, did I screw myself? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But that was a really close... Why can't I put this on here? Oh, it's... Okay, this is some cursed cursorness. I can't click here because the, the cursor needs to be on the card. Whatever. Meaningless complaint. Uh, so we got 432. Now a 10 is revealed. I need to freaking fix all this stuff. Alright, undo this for the 2. And Keke is on same. Hmm... <sighs> Can I do Keke's any suit and stack the... No? Oh no, I mean on same, that is. To get those together. Just don't want to commit to a pile too much. Oh, what the heck am I doing? Reversing this. It's a 10. What is this, by the way? What is... Oh, that's the opposite. That's right. That's not another baseline of a pile. Let's undo that so we can... Make seven six. Weren't we supposed to try to rescue the stupid situation where Baba is stuck again? Ooh, 10-9. Completely re irrelevant. We can do this, and then put the 2 here and the 3. So now the 3 is done. <laughs> done. The 3 has been slightly improved in situation. If I undo that, I can put in a 4. Any suit, I guess. Fofo is any suit. No, it doesn't work. No, no, it's on same that does that interaction. So on same to put the, the 10 on there. And Keke is now on same. So we can put get rid of more stuff on there. Fofo is on same. Keke is on same. Hmm. This lets me see all this stuff now. Okay, this is a six, right? But we'll get rid of that. Seven. Okay, but the, now the eight and the nine are all the way there. Hmm. Let's probably stack this two or something. Well, Keke is on same should work well for this because I can just move all these in any order any way I want. Nine, ten. Now we can do Gigi is on same or something. Keke is on same to put that there. Can we turn the Keke into like a Gigi or something? Oh, we can put those on top? Oh my god. It's the rule cards can be stacked by type rule? 
Okay, okay. You know, I, I wish that... Honestly, like, a, a big UI improvement would be to, like, when you are when you have a card stick, just show what can you can even place it in. There's, like, no hover effect for that at all. Anyway, we are wanting to turn this into GG, so now we can stack this 5. Now we can hopefully stack a 6. Okay, 6. Um... Actually, this is really awkward. 3. GG, please stack on same. Oh, God. Oh, God. And switch it to GG is Fofo, but that doesn't matter. Okay, we got the 7, though. And now the 9 is better. We want a GG be on same, though, right? So I'm not sure is happening here. I can stack the is on this, which is fine. Okay. Uh, and we wanted on same to be on the exact opposite space from where it was. There's some way to mess with this in a better way. Okay, Keke is on same, so we can fix the situation. Very nice. Uh, that being said, we wanted to break the Keke rule so that we could put the 5 there, which is good. In fact, Keke is basically done, so switch that to Baba. Fortunately, we don't have Baba's opposite. Hmm. So, no, Fofo doesn't help here. We want the opposite of Gigi's Fofo right now. Right, fine, I guess we need to stack more trash back here. Just to fix this situation and invert Gigi's Fofo. Can we get this freaking Ke Keke to not be opposite so we can stack Gigi and get an 8? There we go. 8, 9. Great. Can we get Gigi to be opposite? 10. There's the 10. Alright. All these cards now need to be working on Baba's side. We got like statements like Fofo is Baba, which will require an entire appending of everything. Come on. Really? Here is Baba, but I actually want Fofo is Baba. Six. Okay, now we need the seven. Uh, invert this, so... We want Fofo at the bottom of that, so... Fofo is Baba. The, the, that's not very pointful, except for the fact that we inverted the order, so now we have the seven... Wait, that means Keke should have been Baba. <laughs> at least for the seven, there we go. Okay, I'm so glad that, the, that it's designed such that you can always make your way back even if you've converted all your things into utter nonsense. Fofu is Baba is 10. Oh my god. <laughs> that was an that was a that was a freaking match, wasn't it? Alright, let's enjoy it th th this one. Eldritch Invasion. Which contains moons, knives, books, and candles. I love that it mentions oh, it's playable with standard deck. Like you're really gonna ruin a normal deck of cards or something by drawing. Roman numeral A7. I didn't know this was freaking chord and rotation. So, defeat all 16 monsters by matching with cards of equal value. When a monster card is on top of one of the five mill stacks, they'll jump to an open monster stall on the right. Okay, so I don't want to let those get occupied. Don't don't let those get occupied. But wait, what what is the monster stall? There's like four of them and four of them. Hmm. Five middle stacks. Wait. Huh? What is a five? I guess I guess one of these. Anyway, monsters have two attack slots. Okay, they're attack slots. Number card goes in the attack slots. And the combined value can defeat. You need to use one ace with value seven. An ace is normally value one, but if it's an attack slot, its value is seven. How weird. Why number cards can be stacked in either ascending or descending. Either, instead of only descending. And the suit, it must be alternating. Okay. Hmm. Alright, time to go through numeral hell. So we got XII, XII. So they count as 12. So, if, and, so that means if I put this 4, then I'll need an 8 in the other side in order to make it connect. And we get this 9. So if I put this 9 here, then, I, then it means I'm promising that I need to put in a 3. I don't think the color matters, though. The only time color matters is with the ace slash 7. Of course the freaking one where you have to do sums is the one where the numbers are all blurst. Okay, so I do that, and that was a monster card. I, okay, so that's a monster card because there's a darker border around it. That counts as XIII. That's 13. I have this 9. 9 plus 3 should kill it. Yep, does kill it. So... This is 4 and 9. That's 13. We should be able to slay this monster. The value has to be exactly equal, though. I imagine that these are just, like, empty slots if, uh, if it's not relevant. I would need a 5 in order to play it like a 7. 
Because like, I have this 7 here as well as this 7, and I need this specific 5 card, probably, if I want this to sum to 12. Okay, so I'm going to just play this out. This monster has just come in, which is the value of 12. And there's 7 value cards here. Okay, we, we play that generically. We don't actually care about it. Because XI adds to V, plus VII still, right? We have a VII here, though. Well, anyway, that kills it. And, oh, wait, I want to move this elsewhere. Oh, no! Hmm. I can't... Ah, shoot. These all being the same color is terrible for me. Okay, I guess VII stacks on VII, though. No, but no, it needs alternating color. Shoot, I screwed myself. Literally, they're all the same color, so I can't do any moves. Except freaking swap these. What a great move that was. All right, guess I need more monsters in play. Right, so this is 11 that can be done with uh, 5 plus 6 there. We can do V and VI again, right? Like, the color doesn't matter unless it's the A7. Okay, so let's move this just to get the monster slot. 9. Oh, that kills it. Whoops. Maybe this is another one of those games where you don't do the math. Due to profound exceptional laziness. Here, two monster slots come. Why the hell is there a VII in all of these slots? Hopefully it's good enough that this VII, um... Well, this is a huge pile of blues, annoyingly. So 7 plus 4 kills it. There we go. We, what we got... 10, 12, 13. Uh, if we have a V and a VII, I should kill this one. IV. Okay, I need to dig for monsters so that I don't lose things. So... I keep one of the monsters alive. Whoop! So much for that. What this A7? So this is a 13, 7, meaning we need a 6. We don't, we don't even have... VI? I guess we have a 6 there. God, I hope I'm not screwing up in some stupid way. Well, aces stack on twos, so that's fine, actually. We can't do it. You can't do a swap? What the? A little annoying, then. Anyway, we have this uh, VI plus 7. There we go. We also got to cast the 7, which is good. Okay, so ascending or descending works, so I can stack this 2 and 3 again. So monsters come in. Hopefully, we actually have the ability to kill them. Okay, we have V and VII that kills. So this is um, 13 equals 8 plus 5. There's a monster. Here's the thing. We have an ace that could be a 7 here. But I feel like the, the rule is trying to tell me that I wanted to slay only one of them. I don't know, like, the math doesn't seem to work out unless there's, like, an extra 6 or something. I don't know, it's weird. But I'm pretty sure I can kill this X by doing 7 plus... Wait. This should work. 7 and 3. Okay, you need a 4 for this one. IV actually counts for that. It says you need to use at least one ace with value 7. Applying some 6s might do something. Well, anyway, this ace can stack, so we can do this. Nope. Why does the... Oh, same color, that's right. Ugh. Mm. Shoot, I hope I didn't screw myself. Okay, we have the X. This like can be made with 9 and 4, right? There we go. So we can do ace, 2, 3. Just reversing the stack because you can do both ascending and descending. We're going to find the other monster here. Oh, we can do X and A, right? That's 9 plus 1. That doesn't work. Why? It's, okay, so it's it's forced that 7 It's because it, it's the same color. A little annoying, but we should be able to make, make it work easily. But first, open that monster slot. Okay. Hold on, we have this and 2, right? This and 2, that works. Okay, now move this to... Do we have an overage of stuff? What the? Some monsters here, though. Okay. Get those both out, and... Oh, accidentally killed that one, but it didn't even do the math. Whoops. Alright, goddammit. This is 12. That's not 12. That's not 12. <laughs> VI? Why the hell do I have so many tubes and stuff? And I have no Vs. Can I combine... Where's the alchemy potion to fuse the twos and threes to a V? Well, I feel like I'm just screwed then. Thanks, Buggymon. Maybe the candle in the background is relevant. Okay, that thing that kills it happens to kill it. But there's no way I can get rid of this. Right? This is seven plus six. <sighs> if I wanted to look far in the future to not allow this to happen, I just play chess. Battle advance. Okay, well, anyway. Well, let's check out this next one. Oh, wait, this is one of the larger ideas? Oh, this might take a while, but I'm really intrigued by the idea of combining cards. 
to create higher numbers. Oh, come on! Another, another, another Roman numeral game? Hey, how does this work? Into a gold VI. And can I continue doing so? No, you can't. Oh, man. Huh. Okay, I imagine it doesn't have a good stack. So the rules are standard deck. What do you mean? Yeah, digital looks standard. The order can change mid stack of alternating suit, ascending and descending. And a combined card cannot be combined again. Alright. And your goal is to pile up cards from 1 to 26 on the red slot. Hmm. Okay, I mean. Where's 1? The suit doesn't matter, so I guess these are the aces equivalents. Hmm. I mean, the most annoying thing is seeing what's actually adjacent. In, like, it's in number view, but it's sure. That's one. How do we find two? I guess there's twos below. And unless they leave you with extras. Feels like it's just gonna be rude. Like, if you do you really need every single card? The twos are far below than I'd like. Farther below than I'd like. Okay, I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna combine the equal ones. So now we have XVI, obviously a higher thing than anything we previously have. So I'm hoping with this, we have the ability to bring an IX thing in here. We don't have a B to bridge the VII and stuff. Ugh. Actually, we do have it. So we do this. XII, XII. So now we have V. Oh, we, we can't stack that. Oh, no. Um, hmm. That's annoying because of the alternating suit thing. But I can move these all at the same time. Okay, I, V, V, and V, I, which is 4, 5, 6, both work. So, this is a 1. I don't know what to think about that. I guess I could stack V, I onto V, I, I. Do I make an 2? You know what, C, B, A. Oh, wait, where the hell do I put this? Oh, no. But actually, that was an empty slot, so... Interesting that I couldn't put those into there. Uh... But I didn't really think it through, as I was not quite expecting it. But V, I can stack onto I... Why not? Oh, I need V-I-I-I. Damn it. I-I-I. Infernalist edition. Maybe I should not be concerned with combining. Just like, you can't put this anywhere because this is an add to a good number and it cannot be combined again. Like, so rude. Well, we're just gonna combine random stuff next time and if I get scammed, uh... <laughs> well, I prefer not think about it. Anyway, I can finally stack two because the two is available this time. So I can do this. Oh, no I can't because X- Oh god. This freaking same suit nonsense strikes again. There's some threes that are really far down. I think this one's the closest to being least far down. Mm. But I can do this. Uh, this is four and five. This is nine and ten, so they stack. And we have the XII. To, this is the um, 12 that stacks on 13. Move this away. Yep, on the... This even works too, because it's uh, eight and nine. And now we're, we have a three. Very nice. Now we should have... Four, five, six, except... Oh, it doesn't matter the color. Now we need VII. Here it is. VII, IX. This is looking good so far. Get, get this X. XI. Oh, wait, they screw up. Uh oh. Um. Yeah, oh, shoot. They should have maybe used some part of this. Because there's an XI right there. Well, we'll put this here in the combined pile. So that we can get this XI off. There we go. Can I put this back? You can! Wow! Freaking... Okay, so... If you're a little clueless, you might not realize that you can use these to store stuff. Anyway. Get that. This is 4, 5, 6. Now, I believe 13 is the max, yeah? Okay, it is. So, to get 14, you need to do quick quick maths. Or just do 13 plus 1. Can 6 plus 8 work for this? That's... Yes, XIV. There we go. But was that even good? Like, I can't even use the 1s anymore, right? Because... Hmm. That was weird. Because that, didn't that use, that make my ones useless? The only base values are 13 and 1. And 13 and 1 was the only way to get 14. So now that I've made 14 a different way, the ones that are worthless and the 13s are worthless. But why are there so many 13s to begin with? And, and 13s and 1s. It must be like a buffer for, uh, to make things fair or something. Anyway, we need to make XV. Should be able to do this with just this and this, right? XV. Okay, so we're obviously hoping for XVI. Can move this entire stack, right? So here we have X, X I V. There we go, X V I. Okay, so now this should work. Um, this is V I I plus I X, which makes X V I I. So this should work as well. X I I plus V I makes X V I I. X is 19. Hmm. I'll never be able to use the ones again. So might as well stack it into a fake two, right? Okay, so this should be 20, right? 20, which is XX, and as well as 
19 with X and IX. There we go. XIX. Woo. Very real. Now we need XXI. It should be done with IX plus XII, right? Yep, there we go. Now we need 22. 13 and 9 will get it, but we don't have a 9. So, 2 uh, XIX. There we go. Now we need 23. We're going to run out of high numbers. I think we are. We have like, um, like we have 1, 2, 3, 4 things with an X on them. You, you just can't. Oh, God. This is not going to make it. Well, this freaking V, VI is like fake. RPG Maker VX. Anyway, we can make 23, but I feel like we, we, we're not going to be able to make 25. I thought the, the power fantasy with this freaking game... What? Was being able to combine whatever you want and having things still work out. The hell? <laughs> like, I, I, I know I combined freaking 13 wrong. Did I combine some other stuff wrong too? Freaking spaghetti monster. Hopefully AI memory holds the existence of Roman numerals out away. Uh 